This is Victor Martinez. And why have you not stopped by the MD Superstore? Come on now. I'm there all the time. You should be there too. Bob Ciccarello for MD. I'm here with Tim Gardner, the promoter of the Chicago Wings of Strength 2013 edition. How are we doing, Tim? Uh, having a blast. We just had a great uh, uh, Meet the IPB Pros media conference, and uh, I think everybody's excited about tomorrow. Well, I know you're excited. 106 professionals here at the largest show of the year, bro. Uh, you know, it's uh, we want to set the tone for the rest, rest of the shows going into the uh, Olympia qualifications. Well, you've put a lot of uh, heart and soul into this show. I know that, Tim, and growing this competition, the Tampa Pro, of course, the PBW Championship's coming up a little bit later in the year. But uh, we're running out of shows now, man. This is this has got a lot of importance to it. Only a few golden tickets going out to the Olympia. The winners only moving on. Exactly. It kind of gives you the feel of being the uh, one of the Santa Clauses of the IFBB, you know, and uh, sending them off to the Olympia. So I kind of live vicariously through them. I know a lot of the, uh, the athletes personally and... Uh, uh, it just feels good to, to be able to pass it on to them. Well, so far, I know you're in a uh, different location this year than we were in last year. Uh, it's a little ways away from the airport, but I'm getting nothing but great feedback because the venue itself, uh, uh, there's stores literally around the corner, there's places to eat, there's a gym. I mean, so it's kind of a nice central spot for a competition. Yeah, it, uh, it really is a, is a great fit other than the logistics of the airport, the Midway Airport to the venue. But once the athletes got here, they, they've done nothing but rave about uh, being under one roof. Well, I know the other thing he'll be raving about is his Tim's Tantalizing Buffet that's going to be in the back. <laughs> Absolutely. We like to uh, spoil the athletes. You got it. Well, and spoil them you do. We saw the awards that were out here earlier, Tim. I know a lot of those, uh, that we put them right on the table for registrations. They actually have to go buy them to get their number. I, mean, I think that's pretty cool, though. They yeah, want to tease them a little bit, you know. <laughs> so, all right. Well, we're expecting a full, sold-out venue here in Chicago. So, Tim, congratulations once again. We'll see how everything folds out tomorrow. But uh, here's to a successful show, my friend. Thank you, Bob. You got it. All right, we're going to be bringing in our own expert, Mr. David Bay. Come on in, David. How are you, sir? Uh, not too bad. Just uh, enjoying the day in Chicago so far. It's a fantastic venue down here. Very impressed. Yes, uh, very impressive. A big venue, too. So it's going to be holding lots of people tomorrow, as it should. Over 100 athletes in the show. Uh, and you got some good top names in there. Yeah, the the show has a lot of big name guys in the IFBB. You know, with this points thing, uh, you know, guys can't afford to to sit out the whole year and and you know think they're going to get in and place top three at a show and automatically get their Olympia qualification. They either have to be winning shows or they got to be doing a handful of shows and placing you know top two, top three in order to get those points that they need to get into uh, the Olympia. So you're going to see a lot of big name guys in some of these shows that you know in the past might have been a little bit smaller shows. You know, guys can't be afford to skip in these anymore. No, and and I think the point system so far has been a success because the point of it, no pun intended, uh, was to get competitors to compete throughout the year, bigger names uh, throughout the shows in the year. And we're starting to see that pan out. You know, you saw Victor Martinez in the New York Pro. Uh, you know, you're seeing uh, guys like Bill Wilmore, Ruli Winkler, uh, and uh, Lionel Bayecki in this show. So, I mean, you, you know, you're starting to get, I think, that trickle-down effect. Uh, and with only a few shows left, these shows really take on some importance. Yeah, you know, uh, the bodybuilding fans usually aren't too uh, good with change, but I think uh, this point system is really exciting. It creates a lot of hype for these last few shows leading into the Olympia. You know, right now, as things sit, looks like Tony Freeman and Johnny Jackson are sitting very comfortable at the top of the top, or at the top of the uh, you know the points leaders. With uh, I think Tony's got like 30 points and Johnny's got like 20, but behind that, you know, Raleigh's got a handful of points. Ben Pakulski does, but the the three guys behind uh, you know Tony and Johnny, that's kind of up in the air, you know. So if you want a guaranteed spot in the Olympia right now, you either got to place top two or three in these next four shows coming up. You know, and one of them is in Finland. So for a lot of the American competitors, I don't know that they're going to be making that trip. Um, but again, you know, if somebody wants a guaranteed spot in the Olympia, they need to walk away with a win. Well, lots of competitors here. As I said, over 100 athletes. A lot of them, the ladies, and, and we're going to focus on that with our expert, Isaac Hines, a little later, but we're going to focus right now on the men. Uh, you know, the the favorites going into the men's open for tonight, or uh, excuse me, for tomorrow, you got to be looking at Lionel Baiecki, Raleigh Winkler, um, Essa Obaid, I, I apologize to him, Obiad, if I say his name wrong. Um, even newcomer Justin Compton, I think, is going to make a lot of waves. Uh, you know, a handful of other names that uh, that are definitely going to be towards the top five, Mike Liberatore. Sure. Uh, you know, well, the even, open very competitive, but let's focus on the 212 right now. 
Uh, yeah, the 212 division, I think you have to look at uh, Guy Cisternino and Craig Richardson as being your favorites. We got some other big names in there. Uh, Tricky Jackson, you know, he's going to be pushing towards the top five. Uh, John Sherman, who, uh, you know, right. big name, you know, in the 90s, you know, kind of kind of missed his air. That'll be interesting. Yeah, you know, I think John, you know, if, if you know his history, had they had a 212 division through the 90s, I think John very well uh, might have dominated that division. He's jumping into a little bit late, but uh, nonetheless, definitely look for him to place very well tomorrow. All right, well, lots on the line here, and we're going to see how it all pans out tomorrow. The prejudging taking place right here in this venue. We're going to be bringing you all the updates and, of course, the play-by-play -play right here on MD. So we'll be checking back with you, David, uh, throughout the weekend, and, of course, we'll be coming back after the prejudging, and uh, we'll get your opinion on how it all unfolds and who the favorites are looking like going into tomorrow night. All right, yeah, I look forward to it. It's going to be a great event tomorrow. Uh, looking forward to see uh, who really brings it. And uh, there's so, so many big names. It's, uh, you know, it, it, uh, there's, like I said, you can point out favorites, but it's you know, like a lot of shows, it's just a matter of who really brings it on game day. All right, David, thanks for that. And uh, we will be back tomorrow. Full day coverage here at the Chicago Wings of Strength. For David, I'm Bob Chick. We're out.